in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen the five glorious mysteries the first glorious mystery the resurrection our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen Hey Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and the son and the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen oh my jesus 
forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those who have most need of your mercy the second glorious mystery the ascension our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and the son and the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o oh, my jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those who have most need of your mercy the third glorious mystery the descent of the holy spirit our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus 
holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O my Jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those who have most need of your mercy the fourth glorious mystery the assumption our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen he mary full of grace the lord is with you Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen o oh my jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those who have most need of your mercy the fifth glorious mystery the coronation of mary our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen 
Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you, young woman, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you, young woman, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hey Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hey Mary full of grace the Lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hey mary full of grace the lord is with you Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen O my Jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those who have most need of your mercy O Mary full of grace mother of the church in this time of worldwide illness we ask your intercession for the human family before your son's throne of grace and mercy we ask for strength in adversity health in weakness and comfort in sorrow we pray for all who have lost jobs and security in this time may your son watch over all who are sick and their caretakers bring to heaven all who have died and give wisdom to all who are seeking a cure for the corona virus send a meaning when the minister lepers pray for us saint anthony the great who healed the infectious disease pray for us saint rosalie who bared of the lilies and saved the modern pledge pray for us saint rosco patron of convention and epidemics pray for us saint edmund patron of victims of a pandemic pray for us saint francis gabrini founders of hospitals pray for us saint elizabeth of hungary patrons of nursing homes pray for us saint agatha patron of nurses pray for us saint luke patron of doctors pray for us saint joseph patron of dying pray for us saint thomas patron of india pray for us mary the immaculate conception pray patrons of the united states pray for us all the holy angels and saints pray for us help us o blessed mother to be filled with the confidence in the tender compassion of our god calm and fears and help us to trust in the divine position we ask this through christ our lord amen glory be to the father and the son and the holy spirit amen
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Whenever we celebrate the ascension of our Lord, we really celebrate his kingship, his victory as we have just sung, his now return to his heavenly Father in glory. But together with that, we know too of his now interceding for all of us, his great hope that we too will come to share one day in his glory. And so we begin this celebration first acknowledging our sin, preparing our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. pray. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is now called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's passage takes us back to the beginning verses of the Acts of the Apostles and sets forth the themes that Luke is going to develop throughout this, the longest book of the New Testament. His major theme is the role of the Holy Spirit, who enables the apostles to be effective witnesses to Jesus. The Holy Spirit is mentioned 57 times in the Acts of the Apostles. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instruction through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. 
he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of god while meeting with them he enjoined them not to depart from jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the father about which you have heard me speak for john baptized with the water but in a few days you will be baptized with the holy spirit when they had gathered together they asked him lord are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to israel he answered them it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the fathers has established by his son authority but you will receive power when the holy spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in jerusalem throughout judea and samaria and to the ends of the earth when he had said this as they were looking on he was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight while they were looking intently at the sky as he was going suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them they said men of galilee why are you standing there looking at the sky this jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven the word of the lord thanks be to god Trumpet blasts sing praise 
Ephesus was an ancient city located on the western coast of what is today Turkey. Paul visited there several times. Today's passage, which is near the beginning of the letter to the Ephesians, is a prayer asking God's blessings upon that community. Many thoughts in this prayer are connected to today's Feast of the Ascension. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of the knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. What are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the suppressing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens. Far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, 
I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today we are celebrating the feast of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven. As the Apostles' Creed tells us, he ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. On this day, Jesus gathered his disciples with him in Galilee for the last time and instructed them on what to do when he is no longer physically present with them. He then ascended into heaven into be the, with his Father, who of course is our Father too. His ascension into heaven is a sign that his life here on earth has ended. His teaching and suffering here on the earth has also ended. You might notice that here in the church, the light of the Paschal candle ends also today to signify that Christ has physically left the disciples. The celebration of the ascension of Jesus was not just a farewell party for him. Above all, it is the recognition of unfinished business that is his mission which he now entrusted to his apostles and to us too. He expects us to continue this mission. So, what is this mission? Well, the mission is not new to us. It has already existed for more than 2,000 years. This mission is to witness to Christ in the world, to preach the good news that God redeemed us and to show by our love that he is always with us. So there are three parts of his mission. First, is to witness Christ in the world. Jesus said, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. But how are we to do this? Through our prayers, and worship, loving concern, and care for others, and through a good life. The second part of this mission is to preach the good news that God redeemed us. But how can we preach to other people if we don't know what to preach? This is exactly why our church scheduled seminars, trainings, and education in order for us to prepare for this important part of Christ's mission. I have concerned through that very few of us are responding to the opportunities to be educated to learn. 
I can't count the number of people on one hand often who register for seminars. Only a few are willing to make the time to learn and be taught. I wonder, can we do better than this? Can more of us make the time to prepare ourselves to preach the good news? The third part of the mission is to show by your love that he is always with us. But again, how do we do that? We can do it through the ways we live each day. If you are a businessman or businesswoman, pay your employees a just and honest wage. Get to know them and their families. Recognize their hard work. Care for them. Consider ways you might show God's love and concern. If you are in a political position, do your work with the integrity, never accepting any bribes or kickbacks, and keep in mind your duty for your local people. And all of us, in each role we have, can give our best effort every day and honor the commitments we have made. Notice that I did not say keep our promises because sometimes we cannot. But always honor our, your commitments and do your best for the people around you. Jesus ascended into heaven and is always with us. Recognize that he is with us in the sacraments and in our everyday lives. He walks with us in everything we do. And he did not leave us alone. He gave us the Holy Spirit to help us and to guide us. The ascension is our celebration that Jesus is still and always will be with us. Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, let us pray that we can faithfully fulfill his and our mission. God bless you. Gathered as one community, we profess our faith, saying, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator maker of heaven and earth, of all Amen. things visible and invisible. I, I believe, believe in, in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only, only begotten, begotten Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages, ages God from God, light from light, light true God, God from, from true God, God begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Father. Through, Through him, him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and this, this kingdom, kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
and I look forward to the, to the resurrection of the dead and the, and the life, life of, of the world, world to come. come. Amen. Amen. Before Jesus is taken up to heaven, he assures us, I am with you always until the end of the age. With faith in his word, let us bring now our needs before the Lord. Our response will be, Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. For the church, that empowered by the Spirit, we may faithfully give witness to the gospel and continue Christ's missions of bringing hope and healing to those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. For all who are fearful or anxious, that they may recognize God's message, fear not, he is for them and allow God to calm their spirits and give them hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. For all who are struggling financially, particularly single parents, that God will give them hope, guide them to the resources that they need and help them find safe employment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. For all who are ill, particularly those with the COVID-19, that God's healing spirit will fill them, ease their pain, and restore them to wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. For those who have served our nation, particularly those who have given the supreme sacrifice of their life while doing so, that God will welcome them into the company of the saints forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. For leaders in every parish, that they may develop wise practice as public gatherings resume and that many hearts may be open to assisting in the parish in new ways so that everyone who comes to church may be safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. For all who have died this week, especially Gerald Piker, for the prayers we hold in our hearts and for the prayers in our intention book, at this Mass we remember Susan Labondi and St. Charles Parish. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. Father of heaven and earth, hear and grant our prayers through your Son, Jesus, who sits at your right hand in glory, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition that through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, to eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son, our Lord, placed at the right hand of your glory our weak human nature, which he had united to himself and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those 
you have chosen. Be pleased, God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the ascension, glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with the serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, and who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace, Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through Christ, O Lord. To us also, your servants, who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you, that you should, should enter, enter my roof, roof but only I say the word and my and soul think. shall be healed. For all of you at home, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh, 
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We sent out letters, I believe it was on Friday, to all of our registered households, so you should be receiving those uh, hopefully soon. In that letter were several items, but one that's really important is what you can expect when our masses reopen with the gradual restoration of public masses, and that will start tomorrow, actually. It's uh, similar information that was in last weekend's bulletin, and there's a little more additional information in this weekend's bulletin, but we just really want you to read that over so you know how things will look and what things will be like as we begin that gradual restoration. We will, one of the things that we'll be doing is disinfecting the pews and other heavily trafficked areas after each Mass. And so we are looking for volunteers to help after Saturday evening and the Sunday morning Masses. If you go to our website and look right on the uh, main page there, you'll see a, a listing for it with a way to click on and sign up. I think you can do it through the Facebook page, maybe through the app. There is one error though, the bulletin had a link and that link is incorrect. And so if you use that route, you're gonna to have to wait until next weekend's bulletin when we get that fixed. But already now you can still uh, link through those other methods. Our first weekday mass will be a special Memorial Day, 9 a.m., taking place, taking the place of our normal Monday evening uh, schedule. And so that'll be our first one open to you all. And then at least through June 28th, we will be having the 5.30 p.m. Sunday evening Mass. Normally, we would have ended it uh, by this weekend, but instead we're going to keep it so that we have extra space as people begin to return to Mass. Father Thomas and I will continue to offer the novena to the Holy Spirit. We're doing this really together with Bishop Thomas and people all over our diocese. Um, we're doing it here at 1.30 over the live stream. It only takes about five minutes, and it's a great preparation for Pentecost, which we will celebrate next weekend. Father Thomas and I in summer want to wish each and every one of you and your family a safe, relaxing Memorial Day weekend. Remember, offer a prayer for our departed soldiers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.